Welcome back to the channel. How we managed to gain four miles an hour. This week I make a two cell battery and add it into the battery packs. I take the DC DC converter apart, it says 60 volt max on the outside. I then look into it, as you can see here, one of the capacitors is at 100 volt. So by that I take it, it can possibly handle more than 60 but less than 100. So, and the other capacitors, 50 volt, 25 volt, and 25 volt. MOSFETs are, you have a bolt and a bar to bolt it into the side. The controller found this photo and it turned around and said its capacitor was 80 volt. So by that I took it as I would be able to get the battery voltage up to 80 without blowing it up, without it going up in smoke. Uh, here I'm making the two cells, the extra two cells for the battery pack. The batteries have been hanging around for a good, for a good year. So I just went through them all, checking the voltages and the ones which had dropped away, I just put them to one side. Kept on heat resisted tape. And here I'm checking what the voltages are coming out at the first battery and then putting in series the second battery and third and fourth making sure what the voltages will come out to and the fact that I've done my wiring harness correctly. There you go, 78.1 volt. I'm not worried about the DC to DC converter because I reckon that can handle 90 odd volt but, but the controller because I'm very close to that 80 volt cap. I have already done a mod which allows me to bypass the indicators and all that the 12 volt supply so anyway so if i now turn the circuit breaker on no something isn't right something isn't right something, something's not right oh yeah helps if i plug it in I wonder why I was uh, not working. Anyone who turns around and says that you don't need a circuit breaker in line, all right? This is an anti-flash or anti-spark, that one. Yeah, had them connected up. Look what it did, see? See, I just happened to connect them up just happened to play some lights so with the circuit breaker connected got a big flash someone commented in one of the comments turned around and saying well oh, you don't need a circuit breaker you just want a fuse yeah, yeah good luck with that uh, i should be able to turn it on just with this circuit breaker nothing okay we'll turn this circuit breaker on We have a power light. Turn this circuit breaker on, yay! You see, that's with 19 cells. is working now yeah I don't have an active speed out with that so consequently I need the fob find fob there we go turn the power on happy days Something what's very interesting, it says 0% as in battery voltage, and my range is at zero. Now, this is my XT60 mod coming out of the Super Soco battery. 
Okay, there's no there's no power coming out of this at all, uh, coming out of this at all. All right, so this is just BMS signal wires. Yeah, if I plug that in, remembering the battery main power isn't working. It's just running off these bat, just running off these batteries. And I get 100% 37 miles. So all of that information comes from this. Yeah, so it must have live and neutral that comes up via that because it wouldn't know otherwise. So I've done all the wiring. All I've got to do now is place is place the battery. Seven cells, six cells, six cells, two cells, and two cells on on two cells on the other side of the bike as well. It's certainly not going anywhere, and um, the weight's balanced, and I get two extra cells. We now have nuts. <laughs> of course. My fob doesn't like getting cold. And it's got cold. And it likes to be around 20 or 30 degrees. Which is what put me onto this in the first place. Is to change the controller and everything else. Uh, the only thing that, um, that I haven't sussed out yet is the manometer and the speedo. Yeah, it took me a little while to find out what was wrong with the fob, but I have a fob that is heat sensitive. I've changed the battery, but it just likes the heat. If it's not against my skin in the, you know, in my pocket, if it's in the outside coat pocket, it won't work. There you go, see? 78.1 volt. This is set only half the battery so I normally have it on 30 amps on the way there reset it and then 30 amps on the way back if you like the way that my um, my myelometer is um, American emergency services Graphs 1 and 2, 17 cells, so it starts off at 70 volt to about 50 volt. Graph 3 and 4 are 19 cells, 78 volt down to 58 volt. Overall the difference being about 4 to 6 miles an hour cruising speed. Thanks for watching my channel, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe, it's completely free.